Getting to Know the Dream Spell Calendar, March 19, 2016 By Shivery Illuminance River Web Pages, www.akashicintuitive.com and www.diamondlightnetworks.com What is the Dream Spell? It is a tool to observe cycles called a synchrometer. A synchrometer is an instrument for measuring synchronicity, and a perfect measure of cosmic time which helps us to attune to those energies. It is a system that is an overlay on the traditional Mayan sulk in an ancient system by the Maya of observing cycles within cycles that was downloaded by Jose Argales via meditation, and based on the mathematics of cycles in the Tzolkan, also called the Mayan long count. Through observing the dream spell each day, and thinking about it helps us move toward the larger galactic cycles into timelessness. Wikipedia explains the purposes of the dream spell as such. 1. To synchronize human beings with our galactic roots by tuning us into the spiritual energy from Hunabku, a being our Galas asserts is the governing deity of the Milky Way galaxy, aka Great Central Sun, the center of our galaxy. 2. To convert humanity from thinking that time is money to thinking that time is art and thus give human beings more scope for their creativity. Our time becomes something that frees us to be who we are, expressing our lives as art, and also experiencing more synchronicity. I see synchronicity as messages from our higher self, or aspects of self, that we are less conscious of, telling us that we are on the path. The whole universe sees us, and wants to support us. I have personally noticed and experienced a lot more synchronicity since I have been following it in relation to whatever the energy signature of the day is. My friends who know about the dream spell know completely different things than I do. It is fun to come together and learn from them, as the dream spell is so multi-layered, and multi-dimensional, that you can approach in different ways, and know different things about what it means, and what it means for you. I would like to share what has occurred to me in relation to the wave spell cycle of 13 days. The dream spell is comprised of cycles within cycles. I tend to follow the daily dream spell sign, and think about the affirmation. For example, today, March 19, 2016 is White Crystal Dog I dedicate in order to love, universalizing loyalty, I seal the process of heart. With the crystal tone of cooperation, I am guided by the power of spirit. A side note as a beautiful synchronicity, this is Dr. Masaru Emoto's galactic signature. Dr. Emoto is a water ambassador. He discovered, researched and proved how human consciousness has an effect on water. Today is a day in which lots of water blessing events are happening in honor of World Water Day. Today is World Water Day Global Meditation and also the Equinox. I am sure Dr. Emoto would be pleased to have so many blessing the water all over the globe and his mission coming forward. To explain the dream spell further, and the days within the dream spell, there are 13 symbolic constructs which are the 13 galactic tones. There are also 20 solar seals or symbols used to describe the movement of space and time. That means that there are 13 times 20 equals 260, different kin, or galactic signatures such as today's, the white crystal dog. That would be a 260 day cycle, for 260 of these different kin. Each person is a different kin or galactic signature which is one of these 260 kins. You might want to look up your kin to learn more about yourself. White dog is the solar seal and the tone is crystal for today. We go through cycles of 13 days called wave spells, as we shift through each tone and we also shift through different combinations with the solar seals. There is a sequence to the wave spell tones, the 13, which is what I want to share. The wave spell tones, 13 of them, have different flavors and on those days there is a different feel to them. 
I see the tones, 1 to 13 or magnetic at number 1, to cosmic at number 13, as a creation cycle. It is something for a personal creation and collective co-creation. It affects everyone and is something to tune into and align with, or become aware of, so that you can experience the flow of creation and work with it. There can be more synchronicity and more magic. Delving into the dream spell material can be daunting at first. There are words that one doesn't know made up by Argalus and Stephanie South, to explain it, and it seems overwhelming to ever master an understanding of it. I hope to simplify an aspect for your understanding and also those who follow the dream spell may relate to what I have to share. The creation cycle goes in a pattern, and for 13 days, and then it begins again with the magnetic tone. The magnetic galactic tone has the essence of purpose, it is to attract and unify. On tone 1, we identify our purpose and ask what is my goal? People born as magnetic tend to have good focus on one thing at a time, and can get things done. In the cycle of creating something, I like these days as I can more easily get something done with that magnetic focus energy. I am even envious of others who have this as I myself do not normally have it. Next, on day 2 of the wave spell, we have a lunar day which is challenge. It is a day to identify a challenge and as what are my obstacles? We can use this day for self-inquiry. These are often my most challenging days that seem to bring stuff up for me. Lunar days have the power to polarize and they can stabilize. Electric days can feel electric, and are the essence of service. They activate and are for bonding, bring people together. Imagine the flow of electricity and how it needs connection in order to flow. On an electric tone day, identify service. Ask how can this goal be attained? Tone 4 of day 4, self-existing days are next of the wave spell cycle. Their essence is form, and to define and measure. We identify form and ask what is the form of action, on these days. What sort of action will move us forward? This may be for something we are creating or it could be for ourselves. So let's look at what we have so far for the creation cycle. A story could be that there is an intention to create something, or observe ourselves as creators or a creation. The first day, the magnetic energy brings focus and the frequency of attracting what and whom, within the universe is available to create with, which could be seen as the resources of creation. Magnetic attracts and unifies those elements. Then, the next day, along comes lunar, which challenges the goal or purpose which is a budding creation in the embryonic stages. Lunar polarizes what is of value, and what is not, and then that creates stability. The obstacles are seen and identified. On day 3, an electric tone day, activates through flow of connection with an energy in service to giving the creation legs which takes it from the formless to having form. Having form is next on the self-existing day. Form is the essence of the day, and it defines what it is, and measures how it is coming into existence, whatever is being manifested in the creation cycle, that is. On day 5, we experience overtone tone. Overtone has the essence of radiance like the sun and is that which illuminates, or brings light to. Light is information and light is awareness. This is greater understanding. Overtone empowers and commands what is being created. Overtone commanding reminds us of the power of the word, which created the universe, and the power of speaking or asking, with a strong conviction from the heart, of the potential creation. The potential is for all to be empowered and for that which is created to empower. The process of creation and manifestation is empowering in itself. On overtone days, we take command and also gather resources, and that could be seen as declaring what we need to the universe, so that the resources show up and assist in manifestation. 
Rhythmic days bring an organizing energy, and there is the essence of equality with an action of balancing. Day 6 of the rhythmic tone is one of commanding equality and administering challenge. I see that as sorting and sifting what is needed, compartmentalizing into organization. I love rhythmic days as I am more organized than usual, and can see a big picture for a project and figure out what is important, and how to structure it all into what I am going to do. I can do household organizing. I can get stuff together and get down to action on projects. A challenge on these days is thinking I can do it all. Seeing the overall plan and making it, and placing things in an organized way for doing happens easily, plus actually getting things done. Rhythmic days are for putting things into order. Resonant days have the essence of attunement, so on this day, one might feel the supporting energies of the universe and align with them via feeling or vibration. Attunement could be called at one meant, or being at one with all that is. Commanding attunement, and attuned service to action, is how the resonant tone is described in the Star Traveler's 13 Moon Almanac of Synchronicity. That would be bringing in the essence of assisting others to the creation, and also to ourselves as individuals, in service to the whole. It is a day for meditating, tuning in or reflection, and for channeling and bringing through inspiration. With this inspiration, we can take our creations and co-creations to a higher level that is in greater service and for the greater good. Also we can bring in more beauty, joy and inspiration into our creation by attuning to the greater galaxy and universe from within. A galactic day is next in the cycle, and galactic energy is that of integrity. It is to harmonize. In commanding integrity, our action takes form. Integrity is about thinking of the whole, the greater whole of what we are creating and all that it affects, including all of creation. Each day we are getting less physical and dense in the tone of the day, and more esoteric. Compare a magnetic day to a galactic day. Let's compare the feeling of the days. Day 1, a magnetic day has us getting down to brass tacks, seeing the details of what we are working on. A galactic day has us expressing who we are and creating with the bigger picture in mind, including others and other life forms as we think and create beyond ourselves as individuals. The tone of thinking about the galaxy and greater universe as a holistic model is prevalent on a galactic tone day, as is doing what is aligned with the greater whole. Integrity is doing the right thing. It can mean the state of being whole and undivided. Galactic people, such as an artist friend of mine, think about oneness and the greater whole and big picture. She creates colorful art about this with galactic and angelic beings. Galactic people want to do right for the greater whole and for the greater whole of the collective to come into harmony. As you can see, the wave spell creation cycle takes us through creating as a gift to the greater whole, and with support of the greater whole, from the energies of the galaxy. After a galactic day, we have a solar day. Solar days have our days of making, setting, and speaking intentions. Solar tone days formalize action, and our action set into motion. I am going to, is what you hear from a solar person. Solar energy, like the sun, pulses, and it is to help realization and awareness. Day 10 of the wave spell is planetary, a day of manifestation. These folks bring things into form, they perfect what has been created, and their action is to produce. Planetary tone manifests challenge, and the action and challenge meet after the day of intention, yesterday's solar day that set the action into form and directed it through intention. Day 11 of the wave spell cycle is spectral, which is the liberation of service. Action that dissolves service taking the creation process to a higher level beyond service. The spectral tone is the energy of freedom or liberation. It could be said to be purification in my personal opinion. Spectrals dissolve and release, 
and that which may not be in the highest alignment is let go of. Spectral days give us a letting go energy so that we feel free. As we go through the wave spell, we can think of creating and manifesting outside of ourselves. However, it is good to think of the wave spell as a creation cycle for ourselves as ourselves. We are constantly transforming. Our life is our art. Feeling and being aware of the energies of the dream spell allow life transformation. Spectral, is a transformational tone day. Day 12 of the 13-day cycle is crystal, with the essence of cooperation. Crystal tone, is cooperation of form as a round table where we meet as equals. Past actions are formalized and future plans are made. It has the power to dedicate and also to universalize. We become as a crystal, and our experience of creation is as a crystal and also our manifestations are as a crystal which is about cooperation. Crystal brings us into co-creation, the working together that we are dreaming of in the new paradigm. We are in cooperation with others, and also seen and unseen aspects of the universe that wish to support us for the greater whole. That assistance is something to tune into, truly. Day 13, the final day of the creation cycle, is cosmic. Cosmic tone, has the essence of presence, something that is hard to pinpoint or define. People who are cosmic are hard to get details from, or define, and have far out there with cosmic perspectives. Cosmic people transcend. They are above the nitty gritty details of creation, without the focus that the magnetic has. Yet all of the tones together, in this 13 day cycle, are each equally and uniquely valued for what they bring to the human experience. The human experience aligns more the cosmic and multidimensional, galactic and universal energies in more connection with all life instead of separation. Cosmic tone is a day of taking a magic flight, the transcendence that is comic. It is a day to return to the magnetic as the cycle makes a complete circle with the next day after a cosmic day being a magnetic day. The Omega end day of the cycle meets the Alpha day, or beginning of the next cycle of 13 days. Be sure to feel the difference between these days. A cosmic day can feel transcendent and like being in a space that is above details and physical matters on Earth. A magnetic day is very single-minded, focused and purposeful. A magnetic tone day makes us want to have a goal and reach a goal. How is this useful to our lives? Like mentioned, knowing about the dream spell allows more synchronicity, and awareness of synchronicity. Each of us are a tone of the 13 and also one of the 20 solar seals that I didn't really talk about in this article. We have a certain filter and a way of being that is us. On our galactic signature can day, we are the sign we were born on which is an energy most like us. This happens every 260 days that we have this can day, or galactic birthday you could call it. On our 52nd birthday at 52 years old we have completed a larger cycle and come back to the can of our day of birth, which is being an elder in the Mayan culture. Observing and feeling the other signatures each day help us as we feel different than the way we are naturally. It allows us to become everyone by feeling how they feel on those other days. It brings in a quality, we may need for our own creations, and also a perspective. The dream spell signs, represent the different fractals of creation and our own keen day is a fractal. We are fractal representation of the universe experiencing itself as creation creator. Ultimately the dream spell reminds us that we are all one working for the greater good of the whole as the whole is working for our highest good too. The dream spell allows us to see through the eyes of other fractals, our fellow human beings, each day we experience the energies of a day and pay attention to them. You can find great value of leveraging the energy of a day's tone by noticing it. There is value in learning about these cycles plus experiencing them. To do so is an ongoing exercise of continued learning and mostly experiencing what the day brings. 
to amplify it, take note in a journal what the day is like in comparison to the galactic signature. Also, it is suggested that one meditates each day and tunes into the energies, and allows the information of that day to present itself in relation to the galactic signature or kin. Knowing about the wave spell as a creation cycle is a place to start in your understanding of the dream spell as it changes and moves through each of these tones every 13 days. I wish you delight in discovery of the dream spell. Feel free to contact me and tell me what you experience with the dream spell. Ultimately, it is all about awareness. With love and support on this white crystal dog day, Shivrail. Luminance River. Resources Learn more about the Dream Spell Calendar here at the Foundation for the Law of Time, www.lawoftime.org.